go to my uh, original video with the laptop, you know, the one that where I recreated my uh, Alienware game, and I got so many uh, views and so many comments and everyone about that. And I just wanted to tell you the second thing that I've done to my laptop in order to play games. Um, FPS and lower values, as you can see right here. We have 69, 70, 73. Even when I go in game, it doesn't go over 75 degrees. Whereas before, and I'm going to post some, some videos at the end explaining, I will tell you how, and I'll show you how I went from 199, 100 in game down to uh, 85, 80. And then down to uh, look even even sixty seven sixty eight so forth right so with all of that you're gaining a cooler laptop you are gaining more to FPS and gaining a longer time that you can actually use right so the three things that you need are basically MSI Afterburner and I will put link links to all of them in the description uh, at the end. You will need a Riva tuner. This is just for these uh, old, old on screen display uh, numbers here to show, right? And then we have throttle. The MSI afterburner and then the Riva tuner, they work together. And I'll show you how to use them properly or what my settings are basically. Maybe you can further tune your own after that, but I'll show you what works for me. Now I can even put my hand on the laptop. Darn cool. Whereas before I couldn't just keep my hand. But anyway, right? So let's start with throttle swap, right? So we'll start with this. This is basically to undervolt the CPU. Okay. And these two are to overclock the Right, so we're going to do two things. We are going to lower the voltage on the CPU, which will lower the temperature, therefore increase the, the performance, right? And then we're going to overclock the video card and we'll keep it to safe levels for what I think and what I've tested to be uh, safe values. You can try to raise them even further then keep playing and then when you see that it's clogging up or it's just restarting you just tone these down to where it doesn't do it in right but let's do let's do a throttle stop first uh then i'll quickly show you riva tuner because you you only do just just a few things to it right and then this is where the magic happens as well okay so throttle stop right let's let's put this in the middle here and let's look at it right now what we have are these right so this i click the speed shift and it used to be 180 uh, 128 and it was 128 and it down row okay uh i've seen some tutorials uh disabling turbo <coughs> And that that has worked for me for a for a little bit with no problem, and I was getting good temperature. But now I have seen others that just don't do it. Okay, and then um, task bar it, it, it'll be here, but I'll show you something else you can do in the options. Okay, so basically what you want is this uh, the speed step and the C one E to be uh, clicked or to be checked, and that's it. Okay. Uh, and then you can hit save, right? Now, the next thing we're going to do is let's quickly see the limits. Sometimes, when the temperature is too high, you'll see temperature here. When you put the core or the GPU, it will say, say here temperature. Sometimes it doesn't, but there we go. And this is where the magic is happening, right? So I, I've clicked here on fiber, F I V R, right? And then we have to do things. Okay. Now, if you are unsure or how to uh, change things, just try and copy everything that I did, uh, and then fine tune it from there, right? But I'll show you what I what I've uh, done. 
Now, uh, it used to be on here with the turbo ratio limit, it used to be all the way 40, 41, right? Now I've just toned it down and as you can see, all the cores are linked together. So if I change one, it will all, uh, they will all go down. But when you go up, you have to go one by one, right? So 36 instead of 41 starts working for you, right? And then I am clicking on CPU core. It should be selected. If not, it just makes sure it is. And then this for you will be will be unchecked. Okay, do make sure that you check this before you make any other changes. Try to uh, also you will have uh, the save voltages changes, uh, not save uh, voltages as a, as a default. Please just check, okay, save voltages, right? So then when you hit apply, whatever you set on here, it applies in right now. What have I changed now? Uh, this range would probably be down to 125 volts, right? And this will change it like that to uh, 125, right? Uh, let's click. Uh, but if you want to go more than more than 125, right? You just click on 250, and then you just change to minus 140, right? You can change it even further. But a stable value that I've seen it works for me is 140.6, right? So remember, this is for the CPU core. Okay, let me hit apply. And now let's quickly look at the CPU cache as well. Okay, so we're going to do pretty much the same thing. We're going to click over here, unlock uh, adjustable voltage, right? We're going to click down to 250 volts. And then we're gonna adjust it to the same value 100. It's minus 100. Okay, so two changes 36 here, and then CPU core minus 140, uh, CPU cache minus 140. And if anything looks different to what I have, uh, please make sure that you uh, just click on that. Okay, uh, it shouldn't be, but maybe you have a, a different version by the time you, you watch this and it will be different so you make sure you uh, copy everything that you have right uh, especially if you have an MPT uh, revision one at least right so okay and that's the first bit and then lately I have seen another tutorial that talks about this bit here which improves a little bit more the temperatures and even the things right now, you want to <coughs> copy everything exactly like this. I've changed a few things. So these two were uh, basically uh, checked before, right? What I have changed is this value to 22, this to 26, and this down to one. Turbo time limit, it was a lot, a lot higher, so I took it down to one. Uh, of course, the P P zero current limit will set to one hundred and thirty. Uh, this will leave as it, as it is, and then as as we change uh, the the other value from forty one to thirty six, there's no point in having this back to forty one like it was on default, right? So we're going to change it from minimum of one to maximum to uh, thirty six, as it should be, as we've set it in this other place we want those two to match uh, okay what else did we did we change uh, nothing else okay so we're gonna hit apply uh, and we're going to hit okay and we are pretty much done right now uh, I have seen people making a custom command for this right going to custom commands uh, editing those so you can have this program to start with the Windows uh, uh, I just don't bother. As you can see here in the in the um, bar, whenever I start my computer, I just click on this. I click on MSI Afterburner. I, I click on this voice meter that is dealing with my sound. I'm opening the browser. I'm opening my OBS, and then probably I'm opening a game or two if I'm streaming, or if I'm recording anything or whatever else I am 
doing, right? Now also, uh, Twitch, Twitch just opens by default, whatever. Okay, so uh, now you can do that or you cannot. Uh, with, with the options, you only want to do one thing. Let's see if I can find it. So what I've done is I've clicked the options here, right? And we want to make sure that we minimize on close and that we start minimize, right? Because whenever you whenever you click on it, it will pop up on your screen. Okay, you don't want that because you're not going to change any values every time, right? Uh, what you want it to do is when you click, it goes right here in R. Okay. And it will say like a red thing. Of course, you can you can click on it. You can turn it off, and then it will uh, go green. You can exit. You can have more uh, profiles. Basically, I keep it on performance. But there we go. Turned on, and now it does its job. Okay, we have a cooler temperature. So that's just about it with the um, first program with our throttle stop, right? Uh, now, when you close it, it will go down here, it will still be active. Second thing I want you to talk about is this. Now, I keep I keep turning this on and then it turns off by default, right? I, I find it by on, on off. But when I do restart, it basically is right here, uh, in this. Now, you cannot see it because... You there you go. You see, it took a second and then it just appeared right here in the bar, right? And it, and it has like a little 60 uh, over there, so you know it's working, right? Now, you want to copy uh, just like before. You want this on low. You want the on screen display, the OCD. You want it on so you can see those little things over here. Uh, vector or raster, I, I don't mind. You can have vector and you know you have a bigger screen, it will adapt it to that screen, so forth. Uh, viewport, the shadow all on because I do like to see a small shadow, but it's really up to you. And then, if you want another color, you can here basically. Uh, I I just don't mind. I don't know. Yeah, I like it the way it is. Uh, on screen display zoom. If you want to see it bigger or smaller, this is your slider right here. And one thing I struggle with. Is, is this bit here. So this is basically your point of zero, zero, right? So let me just put this down to zero, uh, sorry, zero, and then enter. And then let's put this zero and then enter, right? So this is your point of zero, zero. But then when you move it, see, if I just move it like this, it only moves it into this little space over here. So you have two options, right? Two options. Option number one, you click on it, okay, and then keeping the click on it, you look on the screen and then you move it where you need to, even if your mouse is getting uh, this value outside of the little screen that you're getting there, right? Or you can keep trying numbers, and I've seen that for me 400 works. So I, I just input 400, I hit enter, it goes to 400, and then for the vertical one, I hit 100, and it's basically where I want it, right? Now, if I want to make it bigger, I just click on this and make it way bigger, or I just want it way smaller, you know, and more compact, because already I have a lot of things on the screen, right? But this is all I'm going to do on here, okay? I just want to make sure that whatever the MSI burner is showing me, it's showing exactly where I want it and and how I want it to, right? Also, is it here? Yes. Uh, two things, right? Uh, now, where is it? Is it here or is it on the other one? I always forget. Uh, you can actually set a shortcut for it and I think it's in the it's in the other application. I think it's in the other application. Uh I, I do have these you know start minimize and uh other things but I didn't I don't remember checking it. I think it was checked by, by default right but this is this is what I'm doing here. Now the interesting bit is with this MSI 
burner, right? Now you can do all crazy stuff. Now I have done one thing that didn't didn't seem to do anything for me. Maybe maybe I didn't test it enough. Maybe uh, you know. Uh, so basically, with the MSI afterburner, you have two things that you can play with: your core clock and your memory clock. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take them up. I can take them up by a lot. Okay. And then I can see these values here will increase. Okay. Also, the temperature will increase as well. Uh, but at some point, you will get failure, right? So whenever you're not sure, you, you just hit this reset button and go to zero, right? And also sometimes, for some reason, when I load this MSI afterburner, it will be down to zero, which forced me to actually go into profiles and set the profile that worked for me, right? Which is which is crazy as well, right? So I had this this crazy one that will that will sometimes um, clog my computer, and I would have to restart. And then sometimes you will have a profile which which is this I had saved on number two, and then it was gone. I couldn't I couldn't use it anymore. I just saved a new profile. But that that's a small drawback I think for for the things it actually does. And this is an amazing app by the way from MSI uh, themselves, right? And number four is I left the core clock and the memory clock alone. And by hit, hitting Control F, you can actually see this curve, right? Now, this curve was a little bit different. I saw, I saw like a little uh, tutorial, and I took it all down, uh, down to you know 1,800. So I, I reshaped this curve, but it seems to not remember that, and it didn't do anything. There are tutorials out there to how to change the voltage frequency per register uh, in MSI. It might work for you. It didn't do anything for me. I got the most value when I changed these numbers here. So I changed it to 152 and 545. I hit OK. Every time I load this, I just check those two numbers. If they're if they're zero, I just click on three. I click apply and I leave it alone. Okay. I just uh, I don't even close it. I just send it down into into my uh, bar, and away it goes. Okay, it is just here. You can actually see it right here. Okay. Uh, now that's that's what I've done. Uh, just a few more tweaks, and and I promise we're done. Uh, I have clicked, and you can see that this is this is a like a full design, right? It, it looks really really shiny, but there's a lot to look at, right? So some buttons seem a little bit hidden so this is the startup button where you can where you can hit this and it will start um, with the windows right you can go on the website I'm going to show you uh, you can go on the MSI and you can get the combustor is called which is kind of a benchmark I never used it but I've heard it's really really good so if you want to do that you can um, this is Going to take you to their their homepage, and this is just some some right. Uh, now, what we want to do where the controls are uh, is this the settings, right? So I'm going to go to the settings, and of course you can set the values for one or another um, graphical card. If you have more than one, you can click on those, and you can actually go in and change those, right? This is this is the integrated one, so I guess I'm not I'm not going to change anything. I, I'm not even allowed to do that. But then on my GeForce, I can actually go and change the values. Right now, with the settings, we're gonna want to change a few things. Right, the first thing that uh, pops to my uh, eyes is start with Windows and start minimize, so I don't have to worry about it every single time. Now, do have a look at these. If anything looks different, please uh, adjust it. I do not remember changing anything on the right? Now, where I did change was this monitoring. And here, it took me a while to figure this out. But everything that you want to actually see on this thing here, you have to um, show it in OCD. 
in, in you know, on screen display. So for example, if I just want to do this one, I just click this button here, showing all, uh, on screen display, and when you hit apply, this will actually appear over there with my GPU first, right? I do not want to see that. I'm gonna unclick this and hit apply again, uh, and it looks more compact, right? So I do want to see uh, a temperature, uh, percentage and then the actual clock because you, you can see later on how the clock changes or just stays with the same value right so this is what I've checked I checked the, the GPU temperature and usage and uh, usage of both the uh, uh, of both the processors right 35% and then 13% I could actually just get these off because I'm not really interested in how much of those processors my computer really really uses. What I do want to see is the memory, okay, which which I am uh, which I am overclocking, and then the clock which I am overclocking as well. These two values tell me uh, what values I have after overclocking, or if it's not even overclocked. And the temperature of the GPU, and then the CPU with the temperature, the usage of the uh, CPU, so I can see, you know, it's a hundred percent. You need a you need a higher one or whatever. And then I just want, you know, if it's directly it's eleven or twelve, ten, uh, and then the FPS as well. Okay, so those are the those are plenty. But you can see that you have like a lot of a lot of other things you can click. I do want to see the frame rate. If you just want to see the RAM usage, just for that, show on screen display, and there you go. It shows you you're using 15 um, gigabytes of RAM. And we're going to leave that for now. Okay, so that's what I've done. Now you can change you know, colors and what, what not. You can play with this. Um, and here is where I've actually put shortcuts. Control E is what I use. I, I can just do that. Uh, toggle on and off. Now you can have one for showing that and one for hiding it. But I don't see the point. I just hit Control E once to see it. When I'm getting bored of it, I just Control C, uh, Control E again. It disappears. There you go. If you want the system time, whatever, uh, you click them on there. Then you hit apply. It tells you the time. Here's we we have a time. Either way, right? And it's highly customizable, and you can do all sorts of things. But I, I'm just trying to keep, uh, you know, you can even you can even record the values, factor or whatever, uh, and you can say, well, this is the laptop that you gave me, right? Now, let's say that you don't like the interface that I'm using, right? There's like a lot of interfaces here to choose from. This is just the red one. I used to have the, the white, and I think I might just change it back to white. It looks a little bit more cleaner uh, than the other one, but it's really up to you. Uh, you, can, you can make it look whatever you want. Basically, go through these and then and then like that. All right. Uh, Celsius, Fahrenheit, depending on where, where you live. Uh, what you fancy, if you do have the time, you have, you have a choice here. If you want a different language, you have a selection of languages here. Not all of them, but you know, the, the this ones. And I don't know, I don't know. Just, just, just play around. And if you don't like it, if you don't like what you see, just just go and reset or reinstall again. You can even have profiles. And you can really, really play with this like a lot, right? But I do not have time. I just wanted to do the thing that I want to do. That's pretty much it. Okay, let's let's change it to the white again. Uh, this is what I'm used to. This is where, where I'm seeing this better, right? Now, when I hit this at zero, okay. Yeah, I have some values. Then I I hit those. When I do play some games, these values will, will go up, right? But it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna I'm gonna post some uh, footage right at the end where uh, you will see. And I'm really really sorry. I had this by by mistake, right? So I had this overlay from Twitch, 
uh, over that so you can only see you can only see control e control e to show that oh sorry instead of sending it to the bar i think i've accidentally closed it right there you go control e makes it appear and disappear right so i didn't realize but actually this was on so it's covering most of this um but yeah okay now recording this will be back to normal okay so yeah this is this is what i've done tell me if it helped you but i went from like 95 100 degrees down to uh, uh 673 there you go 70 and then you know it's, it's 59 fps because i'm in here but then if i go into a game if i quickly go into a game you will see how this increases to over 100 right and and it still stays really really cool and it still it still performs really really well and i'm really happy with the settings really okay okay now this is a static image that's why you must fancy but can you see look i'm 170 104 and Problem still over 120. No? And, and this is a big map. This is a really big map as well. It has a lot to load. It has like 30 tanks and everything else. And I'm saying that I'm saying that 72 degrees, right? 71. So with what? Like almost 30, 30 degrees that we've not done, right? I'm just gonna go into a bush. I'm gonna scope. I am gonna look. We've got 197, almost 200 FPS, right? 100, wicked. And yeah, this is this is basically it. Now, if you have any questions, do ask. If you want to see any of this amazing game, do come, do come, and I'm I'm streaming this on Twitch pretty much every day. I used to do six to ten in the evening. Now I am doing mornings. Now I am doing in mornings, uh, 6 to 10 a.m. and we're playing this amazing game, right? As you can see, 74, 76 degrees. We are, we are at, you know, almost 150 or 120, 150 FPS. Doesn't drop, doesn't stutter, doesn't do anything, but which which is which is what what it should do really okay i'm going to stop this i'm going to finish this game otherwise my team will will not like this and i'm going to post the videos of before and after and yeah let me know how it goes okay i'm hoping that this helped tell me if it did and tell me if you want to see anything else okay of your also, before I forget, I wanted to see where I downloaded the software from. Okay. And I'll also show you the cooler that I'm using on the laptop. It's not the best one yet, but it, it is the one that I that I bought a while ago. And it was a good price. The master okay i've never used this feature it sits on the table what i did like about it is that it has uh, uh it has like a really event in the yeah that's a pretty good plug but only with this without the the retasting and without the answer um overclocking wasn't it's it's for a stand of course you can type in laptop for a stand and find one running is I'll post the link well this is a tip power up for the circle top okay you can choose to the beta uh the beta is Probably still under you know 
a lot of work, so I would go for the cable one. I think that's the one that I have. Uh, easy to download here. Language. Start to download. Okay. Uh, Riva Tuner. Again, I'm going to put this down in the notes. Download button. This one, right? The Polish language. That more, more click for on YouTube. Download it. Okay, you have to mute them, I think. Yeah, so we got to uh, You're going to need um, instruction software like WinRAW or WinZip or anything <coughs> like that. Like free, uh, free version, so forth. I guess yes. The Python, right? And then the afterburner, I would put. I would put this link. Description. There you go. So want to. We want to go where you said afterburner, right? Won't find the download for this. For some reason it doesn't load in or whatever. <coughs> I have something. Uh, but if you go down here to downloads and they have tutorials as well. I never I never this, but you might go into the my video, not me. Uh, uh where it says downloads, you want to go for the afterburner. And I did mention in so about the compactor. This is get it. Then, then that option there will be actually not grayed out, but it will become available like the other two, right? Um, but yeah, download the afterburner, and then you'll have the that you want. As you can see, I'm using the version of uh, WinRAR. I just work from RAR Lab. Oh, there are load um, the free version. Don't get the, the latest one that they have, and I'm going to have a few uh, link descriptions. I'm going to put them down there. All the order, okay. Also, uh, let me quickly show you. Okay, so I'm going to play it here and then I'm going to place the um, sound over like that. Okay, so we have, as you can see, just down here with the range of 90 something to 100. Okay, so this is eating pretty much. If I touch the computer or the laptop where, where the CPU is, it's really, really hot. And Sometimes I will see some tearing of the game, all the frames uh, sometimes go down, but just temperature is really uh, naked. Uh, and by the way, this is this is with both programs turned off, okay? Uh, they're not working at this stage. Now I'm turning them on uh, one by one. So first of all, it's just the MSI Afterburner, which pretty much doesn't turn down the thing. Because all it does is it overclocks the, the video card, right? And I'm so cross that I forgot to take this overlay down. Um, and you cannot see all the other values. But as soon as I start this throttle um, program up, the values uh, start. I'm checking that everything is okay. So in the so 36 over there. All of these are bolts done. I make the I to yeah, apply OK and it's done. Okay. Those are the values that we're looking at, right? A, a, an instant drop just by using the software. Okay. 
and no drop in FPS, no drop in performance, everything that you want to do for hours. Now, really quickly, the second one is with the base values. Okay, so we put down at 70, uh, or around there. Then once I do the last bit of tweaking, so with with this uh, TPL uh, bit done, you will see it in the video. It goes actually down even more, okay, down to the 60, 5, and so on. Okay, so I hope you liked it. This is it. I hope you learned a lot. Next one. Bye.